Hey guys, like, comment, subscribe. Just doing a quick recap video on the Colorado Avalanche St. Louis Blues game. For anyone who didn't watch the Avalanche, they put up eight goals. They look great, and they look they put up eight goals on a team that they lost to. I believe it was four nut four one on opening night as well. Um, so obviously a great rebound win for them. Um, in terms of kind of how they looked overall. Um, kind of funny that they end up scoring eight goals not just in terms of the number itself is obviously outstanding but the game after one period was actually zero zero um everything was looking pretty even in that regard and then out of nowhere the team clearly just took over um i believe they only had 20 shots again so both defensively and offensively not only did they put up the shutout but philip grober didn't have much work that he had to do um in the net as well um so with that being said um going to the offense i mean they had eight guys that had two points or more tonight and that's clearly showing the absolute depth this team has um and then beyond that as well um i mean they have um what was it 11 guys have at least a point tonight they had more guys have a point than didn't um so i mean obviously the depth is there for the team um and that's also like guys like yost um not putting up a point either guys a guy like nakushkin not putting up a point either so they obviously have a lot of weapons on the team that could contribute and it's funny because i was talking off air um to my colleague about this um kind of looking at the florida panthers in terms of how they waste guys like Barkov, Huberto, and Ekblad um, because it's really just those three guys, at least at the moment, um, that they're relying on to make the team get rid of Hoffman, talk about them getting rid of Yandel versus a team like Colorado. They were very much in the same boat a few years ago. Um, they obviously have um, somewhat playoff success back in, what was it, 2013, 2014, I want to say, um, end up making the second round. Um, and then still, um, they weren't able to um, really get over the hump overall. And I might even be mistaken there. I think Minnesota actually might have won that series. And that's because that team was so top heavy versus now. I mean, they're just a very, very deep team in terms of four lines on offense and three lines on defense. So Colorado, obviously looking very good this year. St. Louis, I mean, I wouldn't jump off the wagon at all by any means. Still a very strong team overall. Um, sucks to be on the other end of letting in eight goals of course but again the first period looked pretty even they did beat the avalanche on opening night i don't expect this to happen game after game for the avalanche i wouldn't be surprised if they're putting up a lot of goals this year um probably be a team that'll average close to four goals per game honestly i wouldn't be surprised at all um but definitely no let me know what you guys think in the comments give us a subscribe give the video a like and we'll see you back next time with more